CES 2026 showcased groundbreaking AI integration, autonomous robotics, and health innovations across targeted booths. From Amazon's ecosystem dominance to stair climbing vacuums and exoskeleton breakthroughs, these are our notable mentions from the event. one of the first things that everyone seems to use at CS. I need to use it because I have glasses. This is Optic Wash being used at opticians all across the US. Pretty cool. They have a smaller, more portable version out there as well. But in 45 seconds, just with pure water, they've managed to clean your glasses and your watch or jewelry if you want it. Low pressure, no heat, no chemicals, and more importantly, it kills almost 99% of the bacteria because there is UV on the inside as well. And while I finish this link here on Tech360, this is going to open in the next three, two, and one. And just like that, the cycle is complete. My glasses smell really good. And I can see in crystal clear 4K. It was just a matter of a couple of minutes. This is probably the most useful stall here at CS. Luna, can you judge my outfit today? Let me take a look. Whoa, you're rocking that black sweater like it's power move. Total, I woke up like this energy. This is Luna, kind of one of those hidden gems here at CES. You snap on your iPhone to this assistant and it does all sorts of cool things. It roasts you, it praises you, it compliments you. It does all sorts of things that you want to be. It can also be very useful if you want to, well, summarize an email, for instance. Hey, Luna. Can you uh, summarize the screenshot I just sent you? I want you to summarize that email for me. Hot off the press. Megan spilling her design secrets and espresso fueled post it hacks in this month inside Innovate. The email's quick chair for team visibility. Just like that, it can actually also reply to the email for me in a poetic way or be a lot more critical. And that's not all. They also got this pet bot, which follows you around if you wanted to. If it's in a friendly mood, it might just give you a fist bump as well. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I got a fist bump as well, but this one can also be useful if you want to monitor maybe a little one at home, follow around with the joystick or even your pets. Cool stuff here. It's hydrogen water. I know there's a lot of gimmicks in the market, even in India. Black water, alkaline water, electrolytes, vitamin enriched. Here there's a drink star fuel booth at the start. Very, very good salespeople, but they're giving you a sample for free of hydrogen water. Better for information, apparently. That's what they say. They also say it's great for recovery after workouts. It tastes just like water, but I'm trying it anyway. Amazon stood out with interconnected AI experiences across multiple booths in West Hall. Fire TV's redesigned UI delivered significantly faster performance, while Alexa Plus expanded beyond devices to web browsers via Alexa.com. Ring introduced third-party camera apps through an app store and Wi-Fi free sensors using Sidewalk, with Alexa Plus intelligently handling doorbell conversations. BMW iX3 debuted BMW's LLM-powered intelligent personal assistant with Alexa Plus integration, enabling natural multi-part conversations that span vehicle controls and general queries. Amazon account linking enables music and news streaming, with productions slated for the second half of 2026. Zook EV demo highlighted Amazon's bi-directional robo-taxi with no steering wheel. Passengers face each other under a starlight headliner with the vehicle prioritizing ride experience over retrofitted autonomy. Plaza station parking demonstrated Tesla's autonomous parking valet system where vehicles continuously circulate, self-park, and return via app summons, handling high vehicle throughput using supervised autonomy. 
LG Automotive Solutions showcased AI-powered in-vehicle displays and connected dashboards built around the LG Gloid platform. Its actuator Axiom system demonstrated dynamic interior surfaces that shift between displays, ambient lighting, and haptic feedback zones. And usually at tech conventions, it's very China focused because they come up with a lot of innovations at the stalls. But here it's a good mix. There's actually a very cool Germany pavilion, uh, Switzerland as well with Swiss tech, a lot of cool tech in watches, and then some US brands as well. And it's not like India is in there, there's a noise uh, booth. And right here is an ultra human booth where they're doing a lot of cool stuff with ambient sleep monitoring and stuff. But that we can get you on Tech360 anyways. And then there's these really cool brands most of them from China, which are working on exoskeletons, right? So this one's really cool. You can use it for kids, you can use it for adults, and you can also use it for more complex challenges. I saw a bunch of them. One of them gave me a demo. I want to see how much faster I can get at football, how much faster I can get at running to the latest and greatest in tech. Have a look, actually. This is a very cool one. This is a me moving. It's the exoskeleton from Ascentis. And honestly, I can get used to exactly how I move to this one. Makes you run faster, makes you climb faster, makes you jump faster. Let me give it a spin. I like cyborgs. We're all set to take the mantle from Cristiano Ronaldo now. I'll see you later. Dreamy Booth presented major category breakthroughs including robot vacuum with retractable LiDAR, step climbing capabilities, robotic arms capable of lifting objects, and a stair climbing rover. Flexi-adapt legs allow cleaning even while navigating obstacles. April Booth launched cognitive AI outdoor cleaners, including pool cleaners that recognize debris types, AI-assisted irrigation systems claiming major water savings and solar-powered surface skimmers with chemical dosing. Roborock featured robot legs demo using Saros Rover, independently deploying wheel legs to climb full-size stairs while vacuuming. Alex Robots demonstrated compact service robots with modular arms designed for hotels and restaurants, capable of tasks such as table busing, drink delivery, and surface sanitization using UVC and HEPA filtration. Yasound Buds showcased AI adaptive noise cancellation that learns user environments, offering spatial audio and long battery life. The earbuds automatically switch between ANC, transparency, and ambient modes based on context. 8 Bit Do Gaming products highlighted retro modern controllers with Hall Effect sticks including arcade sticks and classic style pads updated with wireless connectivity, high polling rates and mechanical buttons. Vibrush Halo combined rapid sonic teeth cleaning with AI breath analysis capable of detecting hundreds of health indicators via breath compounds. Dreamy Electric Toothbrush featured AI-guided brushing with real-time pressure and plaque detection, a UV sanitization case and long battery life, adapting brushing modes based on user technique. 733 Massagers showcased neck and shoulder massagers with heat therapy, zero-gravity positioning and AI-driven body scanning to personalize massage patterns. Kira on glasses demonstrated lab-grown diamond-coated lenses that dynamically adjust tint, UV protection and blue light filtering using electrochromic technology controlled by voice and gestures. This is the LG Signature Transparent OLED TV. Mind-blowing tech because when it was up, it was nearly 60% translucent. Now. It's transparent, see-through, zero connect tech, incredibly high uh, contrast and vivid visuals. But this is the sort of tech that we want to see 
really changes the interior design game. I'd seen this in other videos, now you're seeing it for the first time here on Tech 360, the LG Signature Transparent OLED. Hypervision holograms showcased large-scale floating 3D displays using high-speed LED technology aimed at retail and advertising applications with wide viewing angles. Taken together, these demonstrations underline CES 2026's clear direction. AI is no longer confined to concept demos or isolated devices. Instead, it is being woven into products designed for everyday use across homes, vehicles, workplaces and personal health.